Hello, I'm Julie. Today, I heard that there's many students who are interested in pre-med major, so I invited a student majoring pre-medical science. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Um, can you introduce yourself, please? Um, my name is Nan. Um, I arrived Auburn in fall 2022, and now I am a sophomore majoring in biomedical sciences as pre-med. I have several questions to ask you about your major. So first one is, is there any reason that you prepare for this major instead of culture of science major? Being on a pre-med track means you're declaring that you want to go to medical school after you graduate and then eventually want to be a doctor. So um, compared to the regular um, Bachelor of Science degree, um, there will be extra courses that will help you better prepare for MCAT, which is the medical co medical college admission test, which is like an entrance exam to get into medical school. Is there any other university besides Auburn University? Uh, yeah, I applied to one other university um, called University of Central Florida. After enrolling at Auburn University, what's the information you received before um, coming here from the school, you think? I would say they are, um, and then I also enjoy um, my school life in here much more than I thought I would. Um, it is a college town where everyone knows everyone, and the people here, they're amazing and friendly. Professors are very approachable. So, you know, all in all, uh, my experience here is beyond um, satisfactory. You know, Auburn has a partnership with mm -hmm. Jolai Kim. Um, is there an advisor from the Jolai Kim, or is it the school's advisor and do you have any experience about how the advisor provided significant assistance for international students like you in adapting to school life? We do have SSA which is um, student services advisors um, at Auburn Global um, who, who play vital role in um, helping first year international students um, on a daily basis. Um, what they do is that they provide valuable advice on academic professional and sometimes even personal matters. Um, they also help students integrate into academic life on campus and then they help students connect um, to the right student groups um, when students are navigating their lives on campus at um, Auburn University. And then in fact um, my advisor Siler is one who um, has helped me secure my first job ever in the United States. Um, he offered me the opportunity to um, to work as an international student, student ambassador um, and then he, he mentored me through professionalism as well as um, also helped me out uh, on how to communicate effectively with um, people from different backgrounds so I think um, he played a, um, one of the main roles in helping me become more involved on, on campus activity making my school life even more meaningful. So, how are you currently managing your studies and your GPA? Well, um, in terms of managing my time and GPA, um, I would say my advisor again, he has taught me one technique. He said there are three S, sleep, study, and social. And then to be efficient, we can only do two at the same time. So, it's all on you which two are for you. Um, so, let's just say if it's near the exam, you spend more time on studying and sleeping well. And then after the exam, uh, you go out and hang out. You can let loose a little bit and you socialize and things like that. So um, as long as your priority is not just on doing well on your studies, but also on your overall well-being, um, I'm, I believe you can, uh, you know, you can have everything under your control. By the way, um, how much prepared study did you do before enrolling to university, like um, chemistry and biology things? I, of course, I did review some of my mm, high school lessons, uh, like my chemistry and biology. Um, but then when I got here, um, they, and then those revision, they helped as well. But if you feel like you you just forgot literally everything, you don't have to worry uh, much about it because the courses, biology courses, memory courses in, at Auburn University, they start from a very basic concept. So um, you can start again there to prepare for medical school. I heard that high GPA and lots of activities like job shadowing mm -hmm. and medical volunteers require. So is it challenging to get involved in those activities and what are like what kind of assistance does the school offer in this regard? 
having a high GPA is important, but it's not the most, it's not the only important thing. You also need to have um, job shadowing as well as volunteering experiences. So for me, um, I joined uh, this um, society called AED, Alpha Epsilon Delta, which is an organization for pre-health students, um, which, and then it holds many uh, informative sessions that will help us um, get into um, the professional schools that we like to go to, like medical school, dental school, and things like that. And then um, from there, we also receive many emails and uh, to let us know um, the events that we can participate in, as well as we can volunteer and shadowing. Um, they also will let us know if there are any shadowing opportunities um, that are available. So I think um, being a part of that society is very helpful as a pre-health student. Um, in fact, um, recently I've just volunteered um, at a camp as a counselor for um, individuals with special needs. And then from there, I uh, got, I gained many um, valuable experiences. Would you recommend Auburn to pre-med program to international students aspiring to attend medical or dental school in the USA? Auburn is actually well known for STEM majors, so I absolutely recommend people who want to do pre-med to come here and, you know, I mean, why not? It's really good. Um, uh, moreover, you know, um, graduating from medical or dental school from the United States um, helps us open up a lot of doors um, to many um, career opportunities, career options, um, and then um, also provide us with skills and knowledge to um, make a significant impact on the good life. Lastly, could you give a word to students who are considering or preparing to study abroad? I, uh, I just can't wait to welcome you all to Auburn soon. And then um, it's a place where you can pursue your studies as well as uh, a long-lasting relationship with um, the very supportive Auburn family, War Eagle. Um, I think that's it for today. Thank you so much for sharing your experience. Thank you. Of course. <laughs>